Victor Cruz was in a situation where he was scheduled to count $9.4 million against the Giants' salary cap this upcoming season. By releasing him, the Giants saved $7.5 million against their cap for a player that caught 39 passes last year. And as much as they'd like to have Victor Cruz around, they were not willing to have Victor Cruz around at the price that he was scheduled to make. I don't think this is a big surprise. I thought a lot of people thought this could be Victor Cruz's final season with the Giants. He'll now have a chance to test the market and see what he can bring in. And, look, the option of returning to New York always exists if he finds that the market is not robust out there for his services. But the fact that he was able to come back from that patella tendon injury at all, I think, is a tribute to his strength and his will to come back play again. But the Giants knew that they had to make serious salary cap decisions with some of the free agents they have, and one of them included being released, uh, releasing Victor Cruz here. Adam, he finished the season with 39 catches, one touchdown. Just how attractive will Cruz be to other teams? Tony, he's a playmaking player. I think there will be teams that are drawn to him, but at what price? That's the issue. And I don't think that there will be a team out there that's willing to pay him top, top dollar, certainly not the way that he's used to making in previous years. But there's a spot for Victor Cruz in the league uh, for the way that he's handled himself, for the manner in which he's played. But, again, the question comes down to pricing. You may see him sign a low salary base salary with incentives in there that should he perform at the level that he once did, that he would be able to recoup some of that money. But last year, 